There are those of us who are around in the, in the Diana years who are looking at this, and there's, there is a mood that, 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 that is strikingly familiar, uh, and, and a rather dangerous one at that. That they're being hounded out. Yes, I'm, I, absolutely there is, and uh, you know there are always two sides to every story, and clearly she, she does feel that she's been the victim of a, of a, a negative press, certainly over here in Britain, and um, Harry's always had a very complex relationship with the press. Which part of this about wanting to just escape that? Yes, I, I absolutely think it is, but I think they're slightly misguided if they think that going to Canada is going to be a, a place where there are no cameras, no paparazzi, and in fact, when you think about the level of intrusion they've, they've had, the British media have largely left them as a family alone to raise Archie away from the spotlight in Windsor. I mean, there haven't been any paparazzi pictures of them. I think that's something that might change in Canada. In a recent interview with BBC News, writer and royal correspondent Katie Nicholl claimed that Prince Harry was not a victim of press intrusion, despite writing about his private phone calls and texts for nine years. Click the link for the full story.